look at that. It's a Daisy Rock Elite. Daisy Rock, California, California, USA. It looks like a Les Paul Jr. with black hardware, double Humber dinkers, switch, volume tone, bridge, and uh, tailpiece. This guy's chipped up a little bit. Chip, chip, chip. Maybe I'll put some black fingernail polish on that. It's got a cutaway or a contour, access, jack. Neck is uh, connected, it's glued in. Black tuning pegs. Grovers. Made in China. China. Super cool. I don't know what kind of red you call that, but, or paint effect, sort of a, like if you, it's an effect, I know that. Reminds me of if you uh, blotted it with uh, so plastic wet paint, but it's sort of a marbled effect. Pretty cool. Uh, unique fret markers. A dark wood fingerboard, black hardware. Looks like there were uh, strap locks installed of some sort, which I'm not really an expert on at all. Let's check an A chord. I love giant frets, but these are kind of medium normal. That's the bridge. Let's try the neck pickup. Guitar is going to be for sale. My buddy Rick sent it to me to sell for him. I always have that, uh, I, I always like to test the, the highest fret and see if it really gives me the creeps when I bend. Eh, medium creeps. <laughs> Not terrible. Here's the other test. If those notes fret out, I know it needs some work or worse. But if those notes ring out clearly, I could tolerate playing it on stage. No scratchy scratch. Tone pot works pretty good.
to see how both pickups sound for some strummy stuff. A slender neck. It's got a volute right there. Black and red. It actually is a wonderful looking paint job. Cool hardware. I had no idea this was even coming to my house. <laughs> I just go out front and there's a UPS, which is fine. Okay, so We'll see what these are worth and we'll put him for sale. And maybe a young up and coming guitar player will just treasure this. Cool. All right. Rock out.